Hey you guys! I may look like I've been crying a lot today, but it's not true. Just the sneeze gods have picked me today as their victim and I'm suffering gravely. So if you see me sniffing and sneezing in this video, don't pay attention to it. It's natural, it's normal, I'm just a human being. What I'm going to show you today is my skincare routine because a lot of people have recently asked what I put on my face to make it look bright and vivid. It's just my DNA. I don't put anything on my face. That was the end of the video. Bye bye. No, oh, I actually smear a lot, shit ton of stuff on my face. But it's actually true that I've been blessed with kind of a normal skin. I have the regular pimple. My problem area is my chin. It's always like uneven. Like you guys can see, I've got a couple of pimples here. Also, my nose is kind of red and it's. <laughs> Bumpy? <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but I try to take care of my of my face as good as I as good as possible. So let's dive into this bowl that I've prepared to wash my face with. Let's go. I'm going to tie back my hair with uh, the spirally thingy. I'm not going to say the brand name because it's a fake one. <laughs> and my lifesaver, Diademia. Die, 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 die. How do you say it in English? A thing to pull my hair back. Looking fabulous. Ha! Sorry, you guys have to see this. But it's the only way I can show you my skincare routine. It's morning now, so I'm doing my morning routine. If um, this was evening and I had had on some makeup and stuff, I would first go in with this solid um, makeup remover from the body shop. Chamomile it's called and it's a sumptuous cleansing butter 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 Beurre de démaquillage sublime suitable for sensible skin. It's just a solid cleanser like you can see You just take a little bit of it. You just rub it on your face and now I would take a cotton pad and this micellar water of Garnier and I would just take it off with a cotton pad soaked in this then I would go on with washing my face and this is where also my morning routine starts so I take this konjac sponge I've talked about this in my August favorites my awesome August favorites this is a sponge to wash your face. Uh, this is the one with red clay. It's exfoliating and it washes your face at the same time. So you just dip it into the water. And you just start going over your face. If you have scrubbed every inch of your face, you make sure you squeeze it out real tight and you just hang it to dry for your next use. Use it every morning and every evening. And I like to splash my face with some water some more and dry my face off. And I've forgotten the towel. So long! After I've properly washed my face, I go in with a toner to take away the harsh uh, elements inside of the water. It's something I saw in a video of Nikki Tutorials. She said it's awesome to cleanse your face. It makes you, your skin feel soft and so clean. And I just had to try it and I'm really loving it. It's a little bit pricey, but it smells so good and leaves your face feeling great. And also a little tight. I don't know if it's supposed to be tightening, but it really works. So I just open it. And I take a cotton pad, put some on it, and then I just go over my face. And then the dirt should be visible on your cotton pad. But I think I have washed my face really good yesterday and this morning, so it's not really, really dirty. It's, it's a little bit dirty. Even if you think your face is completely clean, it will still get some off. Oh, just want to keep going. It feels so nice. 
it feels really refreshing also really nice feeling it smells like flowers like spicy flowers spice flowers I don't know how to say it and after I've done that I just like to moisturize my face um, it depends on which time of the day it is or what kind of day to make a decision about which moisturizer I am going to use if it's in the morning and I'm going outside then I'm going to use the vitamin E moisture lotion uh, from the body shop because it's got a little bit of SPF in it when I'm just going to sit inside and do nothing at all I'm using the Cetaphil moisturing lotion suits and hydrates for sensitive or dry skin I like the pump because it's really hygienic. If my skin feels really dry, I'm going to use the Vitamin E Intense Moisture Cream for very dry skin from the body shop. I can feel on my skin that I forgot to actually put moisturizer on, so I'm just I'm just going to do it right now real fast because my skin needs it. <laughs> This is my happy moisturizing face. <laughs> They're all moisturized and happy. Normally that's where I stop. Uh, when I've got like an outbreak of pimples or such, then I like to put a little bit of pseudocreme onto those problem areas. This is actually a cream you put on baby's bottoms when they're red and irritated but it's also a miracle worker for pimples and uneven skin so I really like it. It's, it's like a really firm consistency and you really need to get in there and just step a little on your problem spots like on my chin. It's also very white. Don't do this in the morning, I do this before I go to sleep. It's with charcoal and sugar and it's supposed to purify your skin so really suck out all the, the bad influence from the world and I really like it because there's sugar in it. You can also use it to exfoliate after. Um, and then I like to go in with this fresh face mask from Lush Gatastroph Cosmetic. It's not a mask that's used for problem skin but to prevent problem skin. So since I've been using this in combination with the charcoal and black sugar polishing mask, I, my face is, is just very happy. It loves this combination. Also, this pot is empty. Very sad to see it. So time to take off these silly things. This is how I get volume in my hair. No, it's just there naturally. Ah. So, I don't think I forgot anything. Disclaimer, my skincare routine changes quite a lot. So, if you ask me about my skincare routine two months from now, it probably will be different than this video. But all these products really work for my skin, which is a dry skin with some problem spots around my chin and dryness underneath my eyes and next to my nose and between my eyes. So if you've got any questions, you can always ask them in the comments and I will get back to you. I hope you will have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.